Hi hey there, welcome uh, to Coach TV. It's Lars. Just got up. Just got out of the shower. Um, there's a there's a letter that I came across last summer that I've been um, returning to over and over again, and I figured um, I wanted to. I really wanted to share it with you. So I'm just gonna read it aloud. So it's it's from um, supposedly some uh, I think belayed answer or something called Agnes de Mill who received this. Um, they, it's called a letter, but it's it's really it was like uh, something another older dancer told her um, quietly at some point, and 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 I'm just gonna put it down uh, or read it aloud here, as it says, as it as it stands. Um, here we go. There is a vitality, a life force, an energy, a quickening that is translated through you into action, and because there's only one of you in all of time. This expression is unique, and if you block it, it'll never exist through any other medium, and it will be lost. The world will not have it. It is not your business to determine how good it is, nor how valuable, nor how it compares with other expressions. It is your business to keep it yours, clearly and directly, to keep the channel open. You do not even have to believe in yourself or your work. You have to keep yourself open and aware to the urges that motivate you. Keep the channel open. No artist is pleased. There is no satisfaction, whatever, at any time. There is only a queer, divine dissatisfaction, a blessed unrest that keeps us marching and makes us more alive than the others. To me, end quote, to me this is um, such a spectacularly accurate description of of um, what it feels like to be creative, to be, to create something. There's this urge. There's this expression. There's there's this this you know thing that that we feel compelled to express that is unique in all of time and that will not be expressed at all if we don't do it. It'll never. It would never be expressed in exactly that form in the world. It wouldn't exist in the world if we didn't do it. And this part about. You don't even have to believe in yourself or your work, because um, that's what I found. Find a lot of the times there's all this self doubt. Like, is this really good? Is this really worth it? You know, um, um, you know, is it is it how valuable is it? Is it worth anything to people? How good is it compared to what other people produce? Is it you know, um, all this stuff? And and what she says is you know, it's not your business to determine how good it is. It's not. De- your business to determine how valuable it is. It's not your business to determine how it compares with other expressions. In a sense, that's up to your divine maker, whoever that is. Um, that, that's not up to you. That's not something that you get to have any influence on really. It's, it's what you, what your urge is to express. That's what you, you know, that's what you have as a given. Your urge to express something and your job is to just keep the channel open and express it as clearly as you pos- as as you possibly can. I think that's such a beautiful, beautiful uh, way to express it. And I see it many other places. There is um, a brilliant TED talk by Elizabeth Gilbert that you might want to see. She's the one who wrote Eat, Pray, Love. And there is obviously The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. He talks a lot about something very similar to this. So you can check those out as well. You can find this on Wikipedia under Martha Graham. Martha Graham, there's this... Uh, Agnes de Mille thing um, um, down at the bottom under quotations. So check that out, and thanks for paying attention. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.